Hello, welcome. In our next period, we will see the next article Transformation for Electric and Magnetic Free Strain. So, electric free strain is given by E and the magnetic free strain is given by H. The electromagnetic tensor FIG in the inertial system S dash is given by this matrix Fij dash equal to these diagonals are 0 0 and this is anti symmetric matrix Hz here a minus of Hz dash here Hz dash minus of Hy dash Hy dash minus Hz dash Hx Hx dash Ex dash minus Hz dash like this now this matrix is similar to previous matrix we have seen in the one of the articles here there are dash, dashes only dash 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 and that matrix is without dashes Fij is a tensor therefore it obeys the tensor law the tensor law is given by this Fij dash equal to del xc by del x, del x dash i into del xb by del x dash j fab under the transformation xi xi to x dash i consider the Lorentz transformation you know the Lorentz transformation are given by x1 equal to alpha into x dash 1 plus v by c x dash 4 x2 equal to x dash 2 x3 equal to x dash 3 x4 equal to alpha into x dash 4 plus v by c x dash 1 where alpha is given by 1 minus v square by c square to the power minus half <coughs> which is called as the Lorentz contraction factor now <coughs> in point differential equation 3 we get derivative of x1 with respect to x, x dash 1 derivative of this x1 with respect to x dash 1 now first term contains x dash 1 derivative of x dash 1 we get 1 with respect to x dash 1 derivative of second contain x dash 4 therefore derivative of second term is 0 therefore we have alpha alpha into 1 plus 0 that is alpha then del x4 by del x dash 4 derivative of x4 with respect to x dash 4 derivative of x dash 4 is 1 1 plus 0 therefore it is again alpha therefore value of both the derivative is alpha then del x1 by del x dash 4 the derivative of first term is 0, derivative of second term is dash 4, derivative of x dash 4 is 1, therefore alpha v by c. Also derivative of del x4 by del x dash 1 is alpha v by c. Then del x2 by del x dash 2. Del x2, derivative of x2 with respect to x dash 2, it contains x dash 2, therefore derivative we get 1. Similarly derivative of x3 with respect to x dash 3. We get 1, then derivative of x2 with respect to x dash 4, it contains only x dash 2, therefore derivative with respect to x dash 1, x dash 3, x dash 4 is 0. Now we put i equal to 1, j equal to 4 in the equation 2. i equal to 1, j equal to 4 in the equation 2, therefore we get put here i equal to 1, j equal to 4. and put b equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 in the bracket and sum it. We take the sum over the dummy suffixes. Here b is repeated two times. Here is b, here is b. Therefore, it is repeated two times. It is called a dummy variable. Therefore, we take the sum over dummy variable. Therefore, del x by del x dash 1, we take as it is. Then take the sum over b. Put b equal to 1, 1, b equal to 2, 2, b equal to 3, 3, b equal to 4, 4 and sum. Now by equation 4, we have this derivative is 0, del x2 by del x dash 4 and del x4 by del x3 by del x dash 4 is 0, therefore we put it very 0. Therefore we have del x1 by del x dash 4, this value into del x8 by del x dash 1, f a1 plus del x dash 4 by del x4 by del x dash 4, then del x a by del x dash 1, f a4. Now again there is 
a variable repeated two times therefore it is dummy variable we take the sum of all, sum all of this a we take a equal to 1 2 3 4 similarly in the second term a is repeated therefore take the sum of this a putting a equal to 1 2 3 4 therefore we obtain this now from the matrix uh, we know that f11 equal to 0 del x2 by del x dash 1 is del x dash 1 0 del x3 by del x dash 1 0 from this equation 4 and from the matrix 1 now f11 f44 equal to 0 therefore f14 that implies that alpha v by c we put the value of this del x1 by del x dash 4 into value of this del x4 by del x dash 1 alpha v by c value of f41 minus x plus second term del x4 by del x dash 4 we put the value of alpha also we put the value of this term del x1 by del x dash 1 alpha and f14 equal to ex now from the matrix you observe that f14 this 1 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 this is the value of f14 dash therefore f14 dash is given by ex dash therefore we put ex dash in the left hand side now in the second term this f21 f21 dash f22 f23 f24 dash therefore it is the value of f of 24 dash like this Now from this term we take the common alpha square ex. implies that f14 dash equal to alpha square ex is taken common therefore for the second term we have 1 and for the first term we have b square by c square now by equation 3 we have alpha is done by this alpha equal to 1 minus b square by c square to the power minus half therefore we put here value and by equation 1 f14 dash equal to ex dash therefore we have ex dash equal to alpha square means 1 minus b square by c square to the power minus half square of this into ex into 1 minus v square by c square now here minus half to the power 2 2 to get cancelled therefore the bracket to the power minus 1 bracket to the power 1 bracket to the power 1 plus 1 minus 1 bracket to the power 0 hence we have 1 therefore ex dash equal to get ex Now similarly putting the values of i and z in the transformation law 2 we can obtain the other equations of this electric and magnetic field strain.
Similarly, we get f twenty four dash equal to dx one by dx dash four. So try to obtain this yourself. F twenty one plus dx four by dx dash four. F twenty four. Dash four, F thirty one plus dx four by dx dash four, F thirty four. You put the values of F thirty four dash, F thirty four dash, also all the values you will obtain. Putting all the values, you will obtain e y dash equal to alpha into e y minus v by c. Yes, sir. E z dash equal to alpha into e z plus v by c. Next one. Also, by the transformations, we have twenty-three dash, we have thirty-one dash, we have one two dash. We show that we try to obtain this matrix dash. माइनस वी बाई सी ई वन दिस इज अबाउट इलेक्ट्रिक एंड मैग्नेटिक स्ट्रेंथ